What's up everybody, Gerald here and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're up here on Long Lake which is a video you guys have been requesting so I thought I'd better make one. I'm just going to help Dan get himself all set up, get all the rods out and I'll show you where we are. We're going to have our Chinese. So let's roll the intro. And today we're up here on Long Lake which is a video you guys have been requesting so I thought I'd better make one. chosen swim we're right up the other end of the lake on the big lake side second from end swim all three rods are out the right hand rod is seven and a half wraps just out in this direction on the bar in four foot of water the middle rod is six and a half wraps directly out in front of me in six foot of water and then the left hand rod is five and a half wraps out towards this tree on the bar in about eight foot of water so we're fishing various depths and seeing what's happening we've got cell on all of them dan is just down there and he's got all three rods out on one spot seven and a half wraps just out into the middle of the lake on the bar as well when we got here there was quite a lot of fish on the surface so what we're hoping is as it starts to cool down in the night they might get on the feed um, last weekend one of my subscribers alfie actually fished this exact swim and had i think four fish up to i think it was 28 pounds so well done to him he actually made a video of it so if you guys want to go watch that i'll put the link in the description make sure you drop him a like and subscribe and hopefully i'll make some more as well and maybe we'll be able to do a little collab at some point but for now we're going to sit back relax we've had our chinese it was really nice and we're just going to enjoy the evening oh yes mate oh Yes, Gerald. Great start to the session, mate. So, it hasn't taken too long. The right hand rod, which was in the four foot of water, seven and a half wraps off, just over by the islands, torn off. And we've gone and got ourselves our very first fish ever out of Long Lake. And it's a cracker as well. 25 pounds, five ounces of absolute brute common. What a start to the session. Gonna get some photos and get it back. <laughs> so I was tucked up in the bivvy, just uh, nodding off. Dan's come and got me. He's gone and had one. It's about 15, 16 pounds. We're not too sure. We're going to weigh the slinger just a sec and check, but I will let you know the actual weight. But happy days. It's one each so far. At least we're not blanking. So it's 12.45 and the fish is now back. We're back in the bivvy. Dan's just doing his wraps and getting the rod back on the spot. But it's great now that we've both had to fish, so the pressure is off. The fish weighed just under 16 pounds once we took the sling off. So yeah, like I say, happy days. I'm going to get myself back to sleep. And hopefully we get woken up by a fish. So it's coming up to four o'clock in the morning. Dan's left hand rod has tore off and he's gone and got himself a 27 pound mirror. What an absolute beast. And it put up a right old scrap. It doesn't like being on the bank. So we're gonna get some pictures and get it back out. So there's another one for Dan. He's fishing really well at the minute. Uh, it doesn't seem to matter where we go. He can't stop catching, so <laughs> well done, Dad. Hopefully I can get another one. I'm gonna go back to sleep. I've got maybe an hour before it gets light, and then I might get back up, reposition the rods, put a couple of spawns back over the top, and uh, see what the day brings. Morning. It's uh, 
about 45 minutes after Ben had his fish and you can see it's light now. And I was just thinking about, oh, I should probably get up and redo my rods. And then the middle rod's gone off. Didn't put up very much of a fight. As soon as I uh, picked it up, I knew it wasn't a car. It's not a breen though, which is a good thing. But it is another, becoming pretty good at catching these bad boys recently. Nice little tench. This one's quite chunky, it's very short but quite wide, so let's get a picture of it and then get it back. You've got to love a tench. Morning, it's 8 o'clock. Nothing else has gone on for me since we uh, had that tench, but I have just walked down to see Dan. He's sound asleep, but his right hand rod has literally dropped at his rod tip, so I don't know whether he's had one in the night and uh, just put the rod down and not told me but as soon as he gets up we'll find out I am thinking about redoing the left hand rod and just checking the spot with the micro rod just to make sure that I am fishing on the bar um, but apart from that I'm probably going to order some breakfast obviously I'll give you a review like I normally do I'm sure you all love it uh, one guy actually did say to me that he'd uh, ordered from Richie's Diner from seeing the video and he's, he agrees that it's absolutely banging it is, it's lovely, but um, I'm not quite sure what we're going to get this morning, but I'll, I'll wait and see what Dan says when he wakes up. So we've had breakfast, Dan's now awake, and uh, he's not sure what happened with the right hand rod. He had a, had a knock on it, but for some reason it was in the margin, so who knows, he could have had a fish, but more likely something just swam into it and moved it. But he's now got the right hand rod out on an adjustable zig, he's fishing two foot under the water, uh, seven and a half wraps out, basically on the same spot, just with a zig. So it's 2.30 and it's very quiet right now obviously the sun is at its highest point so it's incredibly warm and the fish are just sunning themselves in the upper layers. Dan has got his zig out but no action on that. I have actually moved some of my rods as well so the left hand rod is now what was the middle rod so that's uh, six and a half wraps just out in, directly in front of me. The middle rod has now got a little pineapple pop up with a topper basically copying Dan's rigs and it's off the edge of this tree over here because we've been seeing a lot of fish showing over there and then the right hand rod is the seven and a half wrap one which is basically out there sitting on top of the bar i've put two more spots around each one as well just to top up the bait and i'm not going to touch them now until later on when we get maybe get a bite and if we don't even get a bite they'll probably just stay out overnight as well Cart. We've only got cart rods out. I can see it out there, look. Oh, you're all right, it's all right there now, look. Yeah, not a bad fish on the zig. So it's 6 o'clock and we're sitting here watching the FA Cup final and Dan's left hand rod, which is the Zig Rig rod, has absolutely tore off. He's gone and got himself this little common, probably about £15-ish. So we're going to get the pictures, get it back. Look, he's giving us a little show there. Thank you very much, Mr Fish. We're going to get the pictures and get it back. So it's 10 o'clock and I've got myself in my bivvy now. It's been a lot quieter today and uh, tonight than what it was yesterday. Obviously Dan did have that one on the zig, 
but since then not any fish showing themselves not really seen much all day long it's been really warm they've just been following each other around so now as it's starting to chill down hopefully they're going to go on the feed it is also possible that they're starting to think about spawning because they are following each other around and they are spawning on some of the other lakes here so hopefully it holds off until <laughs> tomorrow when we go home and we manage to get one um, but if not happy days we've had a good session Dan's had three fish I've had uh, the tension that one carp, but that one carp I caught for £25, really happy with it, especially as it's the first time can be fishing on here in quite a while. Um, yeah, so really happy, managed to find some really good spots as well. So they were quite easy to find, the gravel bar is quite big. Um, it's just nice to fish a different lake for a change and actually get some results. So I'm going to get my head down now, I'm uh, just going to chill out for a little bit and hopefully we get something in the night. So it's 12.30 and Dan's right hand rod's torn off, he's got a one toner yet again, he's gone to go himself, it's lovely, 22 and a half pound mirror, we're going to get the photos and get it back. So yet another fish for Dan and he's doing really well. Just goes to show that if you fish well that you're going to catch them. He's out there now spotting in the dark. You don't see many people putting in that amount of effort just to catch a couple of fish. So like I say he's fishing really hard and he's fishing really well. And it's showing with his results recently down here. He hasn't blanked for God knows how long. Touch wood. Um, so long may that continue. I'm just hoping that I can get a fish now. Um, we are tucked away at the end on our own. So... That might be why we're getting more bites than everybody else because no one else on the lake has caught other than one person who caught a, uh, I think it was a 60 pound cat uh, yesterday. So most of the people on here are catfish fishing but we have got a couple of guys on the other bank out in the middle who are trying to catch carp and they've not had a sausage. So uh, just goes to show, good bit of angling from Dan. Well done mate. Also it's really warm tonight. Um, it's one o'clock in the morning and it's 16 degrees. So it's quite toasty and I'm really warm, tucked up in my nice new bivvy. Um, I know I keep saying I'll give you a review but I'm going to get a few more sessions um, in before I can tell you exactly what I think about it. But I will say right now, really happy. But I'm going to have a quick drink, get myself back off to sleep and hopefully we get awoken by a run. It's quarter past one, I was just getting myself off back to sleep. I'm laying there and the middle rod has absolutely tore off. It was going off so much, Dan even heard it down the bank. So he's come down to give us a hand. And we've gone and got ourselves a lovely 21 pound and a few ounces of mirror cart from Long Lake. Absolutely smashing it. What a great session we're having. Glad I've managed to get another one on the bank. I'm going to get some pictures and get it back. So it was actually 2.30, so it was about an hour after Dan caught down the last one, it just felt like it was closer, so I must have nodded off and uh, was woken up by the alarm tearing off, which is great. And um, that was caught on a little pineapple pop-up with a little topper uh, on, which I'll show you in the morning. That's a rig that Dan uses quite a lot and it's been doing really well, so I thought I'd give it a go, especially over by the tree because the uh, bottom over there is not quite as gravelly, we're not on the bar and it's not quite as clean so I thought if I'll just use a little pop up it might just give me a little bit of peace of mind to make sure that it is actually fishing and uh, we've gone and had one so we know it was alright I've just put it straight back out over there chucked about 23 breeze all around this one on here we're actually putting in quite a bit of bait we've worked out we've gone for about 4 kilo this weekend between us um, which for us is quite a lot um, normally we won't even go for a kilo a session maybe half a kilo over on Steve's if, if that so putting in quite a bit of bait and it's producing some good fish so I'm going to get me back down again and let's see if we can get woken up by another one so it's 3.30 and we've just had a downpour of rain and just as it stopped I could start hearing the fish boshing all over the lake so I had a feeling I was going to get a bite and the right hand rod has torn off and we've got ourselves another lovely one it's not particularly massive but nonetheless it's lively as you can see a nice 18 pound mirror cracking put up a really good fight this one it's great to get on the lake and catch a good few fish especially when no one else is catching this shows our tactics are working our baits working this one fell to the cell 
so I'm going to get some pictures and get it back out there. So I didn't wait going up for that one, I thought I'd leave him and let him have his beauty sleep. I managed to get the rod back out on the spot before I'd even got the fish um, up on the bat. I just used a quick link, I linked it and then put another rig on, which I already had pre-baited sitting in the bivvy, glugging in a pot, and I put that straight back on the spot, seven half racks on the bar, um, over by the island. So it's good to get the rod straight back out there, especially when the fish are on the feed, because you never know, you might get an instant bite straight away. I've just catapulted out maybe 15 freebies over the top. I was going to get the uh, spod rod and mark it out, but I thought if I scatter a little bit of bait over there, it won't hurt, um, get the fish in the area. So I'm going to basically sort myself out now, get my hands all dry, get everything dry before I get back in the uh, sleep bag, because I don't want to make it wet, and then see what the rest of the night brings. Okay guys, it's what's the time? It's 20 past five, and I've got something very special in the net. So, we've started to have a little bit of a downpour, so the fish is safely sat in the net. I'm just going to wait for it to stop raining, and then we're going to get this one out. It's special. I'm so happy. We nearly didn't get in this swim, so thank God we did. When I came up here, there was a guy in here, and he had a bivvy up, and I thought, oh no, because he wasn't there in the morning, so I thought he'd set up and was doing the night, but it turns out he'd done the night on another spot, and he'd put his bivvy up just for a little bit of shade, so luckily, he was going home, and we've managed to get in here, and you know, We've had an absolutely amazing session once again. That's back-to-back -back, like sessions that have been great. <clears throat> Even the one that we had up on Steve's, and then my session up on Mason. So my last four sessions really have been absolute crackers, and this has just topped it off. This is amazing. I'm so happy. But um, the rain seems to be dying down now, so let's get the fish out. So as you know, our main focus has really been on Steve's trying to catch ourselves a 30. But bouncing around the lakes has definitely shown us that we can produce big hauls of fish on all the other lakes and uh, and pick out a couple of nice ones. We've done really well up on Basil's, we've done really well on here. Um, I did quite well on Mason's on that cat, like doing the catfish because that was just a quick overnighter and then the, like, the video before that was the one on Steve's which was multiple sessions. So that was actually <clears throat> nearly two months ago that video. Um, but since then it hasn't been fishing particularly great so I think we chose the right time to have a little move around and uh, it's definitely made me hone my skills in a little bit more I'm getting a lot more confident with the distance sticks and markering which is going to only make my fishing 10 times better so I'm really happy right now it is definitely time to get this fish out on one of Dan's little rigs that he's been using that's been doing so well for him I'm so happy I switched over here we have <laughs> 31 on the dot pounds oh miracle look at this absolute monster Oh, I'm so happy. This is actually my new PB. What a session we've had. I can't believe it. Let's get some photos and let's get it back where it belongs. Come on! Look at the size of that. What a fish. Thank you, big girl. Come on! Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit speechless right now. I can't believe what's just happened. The right hand rod's gone off. 
And uh, <laughs> we've got another good one. This is just unbelievable. Sometimes carp are like buses. This one is an absolute peach. And I'm very happy to say, in the space of two hours, I've managed to break my PB twice. This is a new PB, 34 pounds. On the nose again. Lovely, I deserve that, thank you. Can it? Thirty-four pounds of Miracar. What is going on? This is the most insane session we've ever had. And just look at it. It's an absolute beauty. I'm so happy. Absolutely chuffed. I don't even know what to say. I am absolutely speechless. Let's turn it around and show you the other side as well. But what a magnificent creature! There's the other side. Came on the right hand rod to the cell bottom bait that's been uh, glugged in the cell stick mix. It's done the trick. It's had quite a lot of freebies around it and it seems to have brought the bigger fish in. It's just unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Let's get some photos and get it back. What a session! Slow down. Hold on, girl. Look at it. What a fish. Thank you so much. Hold on, hang on, hang on. I'm dip it down. Off you go. Same. <laughs> It's 11 o'clock and it's just started to rain again hopefully it doesn't rain much heavier than this and it's meant to rain to about two o'clock so hopefully it stops because there's nothing worse than packing up in the rain the only good thing about it is it did get the fish on the feed yesterday so maybe that'll happen again and we'll be able to get another run i haven't done much filming since we caught the uh, 34 pounder just because i don't really know what to say i'm still buzzing about it um absolutely unreal session back to back crazy sessions but this one's just topped it right off I forgot to tell you that Dan's moved his left hand rod onto a new spot so basically it's right down there just off the point of that tree it shallows up from about 7 foot up until 4 and it's all gravel just out there right on the edge it's all gravel about 4 foot we spotted probably at least a kilo over the top of that which just goes to show you in this lake they don't mind a bit of bait whereas if you did this on Steve's and put in a lot of bait they'd be gone. Throughout this whole session we think we've used at least at least six possibly eight kilo of bait in 48 hours but it's definitely done the trick. So it's nearly one o'clock no signs of any fish no more bites on the lake but it's just still nice to be out here even though that it is raining we've probably got about an hour left of rain I and mean, then hopefully it might start to dry up. It's 2.30, it's still raining. To make things worse, I've just lost one on the middle rod. So we're now down to two rods. I'm not going to bother setting the third one back up. Um, I'm probably only going to fish for another hour or so and then get packed up and get myself off home because this weather is not going to ease up, unfortunately, till six and that's about the time we've got to go anyway. So I'm going to give it a little bit more time. I've just cast this one over there rather than using the boat as well. 
so it's a little bit further out it's probably about there just off the tree over there I've uh, put a little bit of freebies in around it as well but we are running very low on bait now I think we've probably got about four handfuls of sell left it seems like the fish has decided to come on the feed now because Dan's just lost one on the left hand rod unfortunately and then my left hand rod has gone off and we've gone and got a tench not a bad one I'm not going to get it out though I'm, uh, I've already got the rod back out on the spot and put a little bit of bait around it so we're going to set this tench free and then keep on fishing So I've already filmed the outro, but just before we go, Dan's gone and had another scaly banger at 28 pounds. It's nearly a fully scaled mirror, but just look at it, it's absolutely stunning. This has been the session of a lifetime. Thank you very much to the fish gods. Let's get some photos, get this one back and get ourselves off home. Get in there. So it's 3.30 and it's absolutely tipping it down. So I think it's time that we pack up and get ourselves off home. But I just wanted to take a moment to reflect on the session that we've had. An unreal session. You know it's good when you've got a sling drying in the tree. That means you've had one. I can't believe the fish that we've actually managed to pull out on this session not just myself but Dan as well you know Dan's had some good fish but those two fish that I've had today have absolutely blown my mind I'm completely speechless it just doesn't feel real right now to say that I've broke my PB twice in one day in the space of an hour I never thought on this session that I would catch a 30 I thought we'd come up here and have a good few 20s but when I got up here and there was a man in the swim I was a little bit gutted because I thought, oh, I really wanted to get in that swim. Me and Dan both had our heart set on it and I phoned Dan and I said, look, there's a guy in the swim, what do you want me to do? So I ran up to Basil's, had a little look on Basil's and the double was open on there. So we thought we were going to have to go in there, which wasn't a problem. We knew we were going to catch fish, but I thought I'm going to give it one more try. So I come down here, spoke to the guy and he said that he was going. So he allowed me to leave my gear here. So it was just, it was a bit of a dodgy start, but once we'd got the rods out, and we started to see the fish moving around in the area we knew we were going to get one we've gone and had five fish for me fourth dan i've had two tench as well an absolutely amazing session and then that very first pb breaker the 31 pound lever what a great looking fish i don't think i've ever had a lever above 20 never mind a 30 and it's just an absolute stunner i was so happy I couldn't believe it, I broke my PB and it was a beautiful fish to do it with. I'm going to get that one, put on a canvas, 100% it's going to go on the wall in the house alongside my other 30s. And then an hour later, I've gone and had an absolute scaly banger of a mirror. It comes in at 34 pounds. I just don't, I don't have words to describe it. This session has just been amazing. Thank you to Dan. For sitting here and helping me and just being by my side like to catch it i know that sounds really weird but i mean it wouldn't have been the same if he wasn't here and fishing's like a massive escape for me and i've got to say so far this year the fishing that i've been doing has just been great it's been great it's really helped and uh yeah i'm not i don't want to get emotional in this video but it's just unreal, unreal. I'm so happy. I just wanted to take a moment to thank you guys. So this weekend's the first uh, video came out this weekend after taking my five month break and the reception that it's received and all the comments have been fabulous. I've got to say thank you all. I hope you're enjoying them and I hope you stick around because the videos that we've got coming out 
or that have just come out before this one were absolute bangers. This one's been a banger. And if the videos continue to go like this, I think we're on to something special. So once again, thank you guys very much. And until I see you again, tight lines, wet nets, and I'll see you all soon.